Hey guys, how's it going? It's Trevor here at Mogers Models, and you are looking at my Impala. I finally finished it. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm exactly 100% happy with it, but I decided to sit down, just put it together. Um, a lot of firsts on this one for me. I probably should have maybe kept it a little bit more simple, but you're not going to learn if you don't try some stuff. So, anyways uh this is it um this was supposed to be for the chevy cheeseburger build but um yeah hunting season came and i had to go hunting so <laughs> anyways i'll just kind of give it a little spin here show you what it looks like um the wheels are pegasus and if you look at the front ones, they're kind of castered in. They didn't quite fit on the um, the model the way I um, tried installing them. So that was a little disappointing, but whatever. And then here on the front corner, I don't know if the corner of the fender, um, I was gluing on this trim piece and got a little glue on the clear, so that kind of sucked. Um, first time doing bare metal foil, lots of it on this car. Um, definitely would have liked to try something a little bit uh, easier, but whatever. It was a good learning experience. Here at the back of the car, I lost the stupid cone for for the tail light, and that kind of pissed me off. Um, I would have really liked to have done the emblems. But wasn't exactly 100% sure how to do them without wrecking it. Um, the satin black I did in here, uh, again, I painted it at very first and then I covered it with tape. But when I removed the tape, of course, the paint came off. So what I ended up doing in there was um, thinning out some acrylic and... Uh, with water and thinned it out and then just kind of let it run down in there and I mean there's some spots I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not but uh, yeah I mean definitely definitely not the worst model I did but definitely not the best either um, I'll uh, show you the underneath I ended up actually doing a completely custom suspension on this. I used um, solder for the coil coil springs. Actually, I turned them into coil overs. I put a shock inside there as well, and uh, used a little um, wa black wash on the transmission to kind of give it a different color look. I used the original 409. I did wire it up. Oh, there goes the hood. I'll do a picture of that there right now. I put on um, an aftermarket carburetor, um, wired in the battery there. I ran spark plug wires. Try to get some nice detail in there. On the firewall, I painted all the wire harnesses that would have been on there and etc. Yeah. So, anyways, that's kind of a final, finally. Um, the paint, the blue paint I used was. this. Auto Air Colors, it's pearled, um, what's the color? Well, pearlized blue is all they call it, and kind of like the color. Blue is my favorite color, so kind of like Pappy Red, it'll be Trevor Blue. So, we'll be moving on now that this one is done. I have an entry for Edgar's build, the movie build off. 
And I'm gonna do the Fast and Furious Yanko Camaro. Now, there was a ton of other um, cars or vehicles or that I would have liked to have done, but uh, I thought I'd just kind of keep it a little bit simple for now until I do hone up my skills. I uh, do really like this car. When I was younger, I used to be a really big Chevy fan, and Camaros were one of my favorite uh, cars, and the Yanko being that was all about performance will be a lot of fun to do. So this is my entry video as well as a final to uh, Edgar's build. And then I guess it's kind of also a mail call too. I, I got a bunch of stuff for Christmas. I got uh, a new airbrush, the um, this Iwata Neo. Uh, I like the trigger ones I think that I'm gonna like better. I think there'll be more control uh, plus being a mechanic, a lot of my tools are all triggers, so I think this will be a really easy way for me to, um, get better with my painting. And then I also got, uh, a little pot to, a spray pot to clean it in, plus an air hose, and then I also got a kit from my father which is a um big giant airplane it's like a one thirty second scale um f4 phantom which i'm gonna be looking forward to doing so um yeah that that's uh pretty much it guys i'm gonna go now but um sorry it's been so long since I did a video but like I said I was out hunting and uh, we get a very short season here so I wanted to get out and get that done so uh, anyways I should be back at a semi full time and uh, I'll be seeing you guys around talk to you guys later good night